the light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. I'll be making two requested DIYs today and the first will be a pedestal table. And what I'm using today is a hard foam board. I'll measure and cut this foam board into two. After this, I'm gonna make a mark in the middle for both boards. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll draw a straight line from the middle going up. Now I'm gonna carve out a hole that is the thickness of the foam board. I did the same thing for the other board and both boards are 28 inches long. The next thing I'll do is draw a curve starting 3.5 inches away from the middle. I then cut out the shape and did the same thing to the other board. Now I'm going to just lock in both boards together. It has to fit in a snug way for it to be sturdy. The board is really strong so you can just stop here and just place something on top and use it as a display pedestal. But to fortify it, you can glue dowels inside. I'm going to take it out and spray paint two sides silver and two sides white. I'll be carving these parts with mirrors and the link for these mirrors will be in the description box below. Now that I'm done, I'm going to add more mirrors to the side to make a pattern with them. I want the pedestal to be on top of something, so I'm going to be putting it on top of a silver cake platter. I cover the rough edges with mirror mosaic tiles, and now I'm going to be gluing the pedestal on top of it using a hot glue gun and a strong adhesive, and I'll be using an E6000 glue. For the top, I'll be using a mirror that has been covered at the back and I'll be using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun to attach this mirror to the pedestal. You can use wood for this. I'm using a mirror because my pedestal is going to be placed in an area with less traffic. I placed it here for now because I want you guys to see it clearly. This is pretty the way it is but the person who requested for this video wants to use it for a wedding so I just figured something nice around the mirror would work. This is just an idea of how this should look like. But if it's going to be for a wedding, I will recommend using wood all through the project and not a foam board. Moving on to the second project. Someone sent me a picture of a vase that was made with pearls all over it and it's so beautiful. So I decided to just figure out a way to make this. So I'm going to be using stem wires and joining two together. 
to make it strong. Now one is really strong, but to make it even stronger, I had to join two together. The next thing I'll do is bend it to the shape of the vase that I want to make. If you have a vase at home, it's going to be easier to just place the wire on the vase to get the shape. I'll be using this empty duct tape for the base. I want you guys to know that it is important to use strong stem wires. You cannot use a flimsy wire for this project or else your vase is just gonna collapse. It has to be wires that are very strong. I made more of these. Now I'm going to be attaching them to the base. I'll use zip ties to hold the wires so that they don't move. I'll be using the napkin ring for the neck of the vase. Now I'm putting all the wires around the napkin ring and holding them together with zip ties. I'll be using the six inches hoop for the lip of the vase. I have to say it again, for this project, remember to use strong stem wires. That is the only way you're going to be able to do this and for the vase to turn out sturdy. What took a lot of time for me in making this DIY was getting the right shape. I had two zip ties before. I cut out one. Now I'm left with just one zip tie. I used a strong adhesive to hold the wires to the napkin ring. These are strips from a mirror mosaic tiles and the link for the mirror mosaic tiles will be in the description box below. I'll be gluing this just the way it is on the wires and I will not be removing the paper. I use just a hot glue gun to attach the pieces first before then using a strong adhesive but it's preferable to use a hot glue gun and a strong adhesive for it to hold much better. I'll be covering up this open spaces with mirror mosaic tiles. I like to have lighting at the bottom, so I took out a lighting from a paper lantern and it will be right under this wood. I'll make a hole in the middle of the wood with my drill gun. The top of the wood will be covered with mirror mosaic tiles.
I'm putting it in to see what it looks like. And then after that, I will glue it together. This is beautiful the way it is, but the picture that was sent to me had pearls all over. So I'll be attaching pearls to the mirror mosaic tiles. In between the beads, you can still see the mirror mosaic tiles. I covered the hoop with mirror mosaic tiles as well. The styrofoam ball is going to be on top and the pointy side of the wires will keep it in place. The next step is to add flowers to the styrofoam. I added different kinds of flowers. When I was done, this is how the vase turned out. I had a zip tie that was showing at the neck of the vase, so I used a gem right here to cover it up. This is when the light is on and it looks so pretty. I didn't really think the wires would show that much, but it is at some angles, so that would have to be covered up. The vase took me quite a while to finish because I was trying so hard to make sure that I get the perfect shape. I really love how all the DIYs turned out. These are unique pieces and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.